protesters in Georgia are calling on the government to refuse any deals with Russian state gas monopoly Gazprom. This comes after Tbilisi announced a recent round of negotiations with the company had been brought to a close. On Friday, Georgia announced it will import extra gas from Azerbaijan. It says an agreement with Gazprom to take 10 percent of gas transported to Armenia via Georgian pipelines would remain unchanged. Demonstrators taking part in a human chain in the Georgian capital say this is cause for celebration. It took several months of public and civic pressure uh, on the government to stop the negotiation with Gazprom, uh, which are uh, against Georgian interests, uh, which are increasing the presence of Gazprom in the country without any rational reason. Now, at this moment, this has stopped and uh, we are partly celebrating it, but, but we are also sending the message to the government that the public is there to defend the interests of Georgia if government is not doing it. A number of protesters held signs calling on Russia to free Nadia Savchenko. The Ukrainian pilot is imprisoned on charges her lawyers say are fabricated. The show of support for Ukraine comes at a time when Moscow and Tbilisi have no diplomatic relations. But Georgian officials say their foreign policy goal is not to antagonize Russia. One opposition politician believes the negotiations over gas are of wider geopolitical significance. Georgia's future is based on the fundamental choice of Georgian people in favor of European and Euro-Atlantic aspirations. And bringing back Gazprom to this country puts fundamental question marks on that choice. So today we say no to Gazprom and we say no to government, which plans to bring Georgia back under Russian influence and thereby to threaten Georgia's European future. Georgia fought a brief war with Russia in August 2008. Following the end of the conflict, Moscow recognized the Georgian regions of Abkhazia and South Ossetia as independent countries. It has since increased its military and economic ties with the two breakaway territories.